Hello, hello. Happy Thursday. I'm going to wait a little bit to get all that started. We're going to let some people come in here real quick. All right. Now we have some more people in here. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So before I go on to explain uh, the whole workout for today, I want everyone to tell me what their favorite part of winter, the holiday season, whatever holidays you celebrate, um, you know, the favorite part of this time of the year for you, I want you to tell me what it is in the chat box. Um, I know mine is definitely uh, surrounding Christmas cookies and Christmas baking. It's definitely a huge thing that I do with my family. So, so I love, um, it's my favorite part of this time of the year. And um, so we can go ahead and get started with um, with the workout. So we are going to be spelling out mistletoe today. Thank you to Daryl, who is not with us today right now, but he suggested mistletoe. So that's what we're doing today. So we're going to start off with, ooh, yes, I love decorations. Too. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start off with that M. So we're going to do some marching to start. So first part, we're going to be marching. So we're going to get those knees up as high as we can. And everything we're doing today, we're doing 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest for um, three rounds. And then, so we're going to do marching. And then the I, we're going to do bent over eyes. So we're going to hinge at the hips, coming forward, raising those hands directly above head and coming back down. So we're making that eye shape. We want our chest as parallel to the ground as we can, arms coming straight up and back down. So that's the second part, so that's I. And then for the first, oh, there's only one S. <laughs> for S, we're gonna do kneeling squats. So we're gonna start on the ground in a kneeling position. So our knees can be a little bit wider than hip width here, but we're gonna have the glutes to the heels. We're gonna squeeze the glutes, come up to that top position, keeping those glutes squeezed, and back down. So it's kind of like a regular squat. We're just coming from the knees. So emphasis here is on the glutes. We want to make sure we're not overarching, overextending. We want to stop with our hips in line with our knees and our shoulders. And then for the first T, we're going to do um, plank toe tap. So we're going to be in a plank mm -hmm. position here. And we're going to push ourselves up, butt to the air, tap the opposite toe, back down. Push up, tap the opposite toe, back down. So I'll do that. And then for the L, we're going to do lateral squats. So we're going to stand it back up. Feet are going to be a little bit wider than we normally have them. Toes pointed forward, and we're going to squat to each side. So I'm going to go to the right first. Left leg is going to be straight. Squeeze the glute, come up. And then left leg down, squeeze the glute, come back up. So we're going to alternate like that for our lateral squats. And then we're going to get back on the ground on our backs. In this E, the first E is going to be glute bridge marches, but we're going to do a knee extension. So we're going to squeeze the glutes, come up, and then we're going to squeeze the quad, extend the knee out, extend the knee, and then back down. So instead of marching, we're really just extending. So it should really be glute bridge extension there. So that's what we're going to do there. And then, oh, we're going to stand our back for the next one. Second T is just toe touches. So legs straight in the air. We can um, flex our feet a little bit come up, touch your toes. Just using that core, not use momentum there. So we're touching the toes. And then we're gonna get back onto our hands and our feet for some down dog overhead presses for that O, otherwise known as pike push up. So we're starting that plank position. Push yourself up, hands or um, glutes in the air again. And we're gonna bring our he head towards um, the ground, aiming to get that head right in between those hands. So that is going to be the O. And then finally for the E, we're gonna do technically two E's at the end. Um, we're gonna go through this one leg at a time. So we're gonna be face down and this is called prone hip extension. So we're gonna face down here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna squeeze the glute, lift the leg up and come back down. So we're squeezing, lifting, and coming back down. And then we'll do all in one leg, and then we'll switch over to the other leg. Just like that. And like I said, we're gonna do 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest for three times through. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get started with the warm up here today. So 
We're gonna start off with the world's greatest stretch. So let's go ahead and make our way to the top of our area. And I'm gonna start with my um, right leg. I'm going to interlace my fingers. I'm gonna grab my right knee, pull it towards my chest. And we're gonna exhale, step back into a reverse lunge. And my hands are gonna come to the inside of my front foot or my left leg. Left hand is gonna open up towards the ceiling, gazing past that thumb. Nice, big, deep breath, keeping that back leg nice and straight. And we're gonna exhale, place the hand on the outside of our front foot, push up into a hamstring stretch. So we're bringing our body, our face as close to our hamstring as we come, or as our, to our knee as we comfortably can, feeling the stretch all through the back of our leg. And then we're gonna bring the right foot next to the left foot and stand on up. Wonderful. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other leg. So interlacing my fingers, scooping up my left knee towards the chest. And we're gonna exhale, reverse lunge, hands to the inside of that right foot, the front leg right now. We're gonna take that right hand, open on up towards the ceiling, gazing past that thumb, keeping the back leg nice and flat. And we're gonna exhale, place the hand on the outside of our right foot, push up into a hamstring stretch. And we're gonna exhale, bring the left foot next to the right foot and stand it on up. Awesome. So then the last part of our warm up here, we're just gonna make our way down to the ground into a plank position. And we're gonna do some plank to pike, get those shoulders warmed up. So we're gonna start off in that plank position, push ourselves up, glutes to the air, and then come back down. We're gonna do this a couple times, warming up the shoulders, warming up our core. And wherever we're out, we're just gonna go ahead and do two more here. And last one. All right, we can then go ahead and get started. So if you at any time are wondering where we're at or you're confused or you don't know what some of this calls that I'm doing, you can feel free to look at that in the chat. Um, thank you to Luis for putting that in there for us. And we're gonna go ahead then, we're gonna get started with the top of our circuit, which is marching, okay? So we got 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Going in three, two, one, and go. So we're getting those knees up, alternating hands and feet, opposite arm, opposite leg, driving those knees up, punching the ground away from us. I want to make sure we're getting 90 degree angles here. Keeping that core tight. Three, two, one. And we're resting for 10 seconds. Up next, bent over eyes. So we're going to have our feet shoulder width apart. Three, two, one. We're pushing those glutes back. We're raising the arms straight up overhead. So we're squeezing through the shoulders here. Keeping our core tight back flat. Awesome job, everyone. Three, two, one. All right, so we're getting down onto the ground on our knees. Glutes are starting at our heels. Knees can be a little bit wider. Three, two, one, and we're standing on up and then bringing those glutes right back down. So we're just going through that squatting motion here. So we wanna make sure that our back is nice and flat. We're squeezing those glutes, keeping that core tight. Three, two, one. All right, next up we have plank toe taps. So we're gonna start off in the plank position and then we're gonna lift the glutes, touch the toes. Three, two, one. So we're tapping our opposite toe, coming back down into that plank position. We wanna make sure that our hips and our shoulders and our head and our toes are all in one flat line when we come back into that plank position. Three, two, one, and we're resting. And we're back on our feet for lateral squats. So feet are gonna be nice and wide here. Three, two, one, shifting our weight to each side. Squeeze the glutes, come back up. So hips are coming back, knees tracking past that second toe, just like with squats. 
chest is up and we're using our legs here. Three, two, one. All right, we are gonna be on the ground now for our glute bridge extension. So we're going up three, two, one. So we're gonna squeeze, extend the knee, extend the knee, and back down. So we're keeping our glutes nice and sturdy here. We don't wanna to rock too much, we wanna extend at the knee. So we're using our quads for that. Three, two, one. All right. And we're going to stay on the ground on our backs. We have toe touches coming up next. Three, two, one. So we're exhaling, coming up, touching the toes. Keeping those legs as straight as we can. Touching as close to the toes as we can here. We're using our core. Not momentum. Three, two, one. All right. And now we're going to go ahead and go back onto our hands for down dog overhead presses or pike push ups. Three, two, one. So we're having the glutes in the air, bringing our head as close to the ground as we can get it, right in between our hands. So we're getting a good shoulder workout here. Core is tight, back is flat. Three, two, one. All right, last part. We're gonna be face down on the ground. We're doing one leg at a time, hip extensions. Three, two, one. So we're squeezing the glute, lifting the leg. So we're only doing one leg at a time right now. Wanna make sure our foot is as flat as it can be. It does help if you have your heel really Focus on driving your heel towards the ceiling here. Three, two, one. All right, we're resting, we're staying here. We're gonna do the other leg and then we're gonna go to the top for marches. Three, two, one. So we're squeezing the glute, come back down. Again, focus on driving the heel towards the ceiling. Getting a nice glute squeeze there. Three, two, one. All right, we got 10 seconds. And we're gonna start back at the top with our marches. Three, two, one. So we're alternating opposite arm, opposite leg. Using that core, keeping everything nice and tight. Punching the ground away from us. Getting the knees, the knees up. What are words? I don't know. Three, two, one. All right. Gonna do our bent over eyes next. So we're going to have our feet shoulder width apart. Three, two, one. Glutes are back just like an RDL. Back is nice and flat. We are squeezing the shoulders, lifting our arms above head. So we wanna make sure our shoulder blades are nice and pinned back like we're squeezing an egg. And then we're using the fronts of our shoulders to raise overhead. Three, two, one. All right, getting on the ground, on our knees, starting with our glutes on our heels. Three, two, one. We're squeezing the glutes, coming up and back down. So making sure that our hips are in line with our shoulders and our knees. We don't want to overextend that back as we come to the top. We want to make sure the glutes are squeezed the whole time, getting the most out of this movement. Three, two, one. All right, staying on the ground, plank toe taps are next. So we're going to start off in that plank position. Three, two, one. So we're tapping opposite toes here. Exhale as we come up. Keeping everything in line as we move to that plank position. Three, two, one. All right, standing on up, lateral squats. Feet are nice and wide. Three, two, one. I wanna make sure toes are pointed forward and that we are coming down and back with those glutes. 
squeezing as we come up. Our opposite leg stays nice and straight here. Three, two, one. All right, getting on the ground, we got glute bridge extensions. Three, two, one. So we're squeezing the glutes, extending at the knee, using the quad and back down. It's kind of like a kick a little bit. And we're squeezing the glutes, keeping our hips neutral, and then squeezing the quads to extend. Want to sure our core is also tight. Three, two, one. All right, we're staying here on the ground. We got toe touches up next. Three, two, one. Laying on the ground, touching those toes, using our core, exhaling as we come up. Awesome, everyone. Keep touching those toes. Three, two, one. All right. And up next, down dog overhead presses. So we're getting back onto our hands and our toes. Three, two, one. We're bringing our head in between our hands, pushing back up. Making sure our core is nice and tight. Back is flat, using those shoulders and the hands to push the ground away from us. Three, two, one. All right, last part, prone hip extension. We're gonna do all on one leg, all on the other leg. And then we're gonna start three, two, one. So we're gonna start back at the top with marches to go through this one more time once we finish. This last exercise, so we're squeezing, lifting, and replacing. So we're making sure we're not just letting our legs flop back on the ground. Three, two, one. All right, we're resting, and then we got the other leg coming up. This is a nice resting position. Three, two, one. We're going again. So we're lifting the opposite leg. So we're squeezing the glute, lifting, and coming back. So okay if your leg kind of comes out a little bit. I know mine does a little bit to really engage my glute. We gotta get in those right positions for us and our bodies. Three, two, one. All right, 10 seconds. We're starting back at the top. Last time through. And then we'll do a nice cool down. Three, two, one. We're marching. Hunching the ground away from us. Great job, everyone. Keep on marching. Keep that core tight. Three, two, one. All right, bent over eyes are next. So feet are gonna be shoulder width apart. Pushing the glutes back, going in three, two, one. Raising those arms overhead. So our shoulder blades are pinned back together. Pelvis is tucked, so our core is tight, keeping our low back nice and flat. Using those legs to keep us stable. Three, two, one. All right, go onto the ground, plank toe taps. Starting off in that plank position. Three, two, one. So we're pushing up, touching the opposite toes here. Keeping that core tight. It does ex help if you exhale as you push yourself up to keep that core engaged here. Three, two, one. All right. Standing on up, lateral squats. Nice and wide. Stance three, two, one. Just going to one side, squeeze the loop, coming on up. Other side, squeeze and return to that starting position. So we want to make sure that our chest is staying nice and tall here and that we're not twisting in any way. Staying nice and sturdy. Three, two, one. All right. On to the ground, on our backs. Glue bridge extensions. Three, two, one. So we're squeezing the glutes, keeping those hips sturdy squeezing the quads squeezing the glutes the whole time as well 
keeping that pelvis tucked core tight. Awesome job, everyone. Kick in the air. Three, two, one. All right, staying on the ground. We're gonna touch the toes here in a minute. Three, two, one. Toes in the air. Exhaling, using our core, touching those toes. Awesome job, everyone. Keep tucking those toes. We're almost there. Three, two, one. All right. Two more exercises to go. Down dog overhead press is coming up next on our hands and toes. Three, two, one. So we're bringing our head in between our hands. Keeping our back nice and flat. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. Push the ground away from you as you bring your head in the middle of your hands. Three, two, one. All right. On the ground, on our stomachs, prone hip extensions. These are our last two movements. Three, two, one. So we're squeezing the glute, lifting up, coming back down. So we are really focusing on the glutes here. Great job. Three, two, one. Awesome. And we got one last leg to do. Three, two, one. So we're squeezing. Oh my gosh, I forgot kneeling squats, you guys. We're doing those after this. Sorry. <laughs> we're squeezing the glute. Coming back up. Did I oh my gosh, I skipped. Did I skip more than that? Oh man. Okay, we're good. We're doing kneeling squats after this. Three, two, one. All right. Last thing, we spelt mistletoe wrong this time. <laughs> glutes on the heels. Three, two, one. Or squeeze the glutes, come up and back down. Getting a lot of glute work today. Great job, everyone. We're almost there. Fishing strong. Three, two, one. Whew. Okay, awesome. So we spelt mistletoe and went a little faster. So something very special for you guys to do real quick and then we'll cool down. And uh, the magic exercise is burpees. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. We're gonna go through that four times with burpees. So if you're not in a place to jump, you can go ahead and march instead, or we can go ahead and um, walk the feet out and walk them back up and stand on up. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get the timer started. We're going to do this four times through. Three, two, one, and go. So we're doing burpees. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Great job, you guys. We're gonna push ourselves for these final two minutes and then we'll do a nice cool down. Three, two, one. First one's always easy. And then it's gonna get a little harder. Three, two, one. Doing burpees again. Or you're walking your legs out if you're not in a place to jump or you're doing march. Great job, everyone. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Three, two, one. All right, two more to go. Two down, two to go. Three, two, one. Jump it up, making sure we land it on our whole foot here. Don't forget to breathe. Good job, you guys. Three, two, one. All right, the last one coming up. 
three, two, one. Way to go, everyone. Finishing strong here. Three, two, one. And we are done with the full workout. Whew. Great job, you guys. Go ahead and get a sip of water if you need it. And then, sorry, Dan. Um, then we're gonna go ahead and get started with our cool down. So we're gonna start on the ground, on our hands and our knees here. And we're gonna do some quad rocks with our adductor stretch here. So hands and knees, one foot is gonna stick out straight like a kickstand. And then we're gonna go ahead and rock back. So we're gonna bring the glutes to the heels, squeeze and come back up. So we're gonna make sure our whole foot is on the ground. Gonna let us open up our hips a little bit more. We're gonna go ahead and do one more of these. Great job, everyone. We're gonna go ahead and move then to the other side. Same thing, we're gonna do about five of those on this other leg. So straight out to the side, whole foot on the ground, rock back, coming up. Let that breathing kind of come down. And last one. All right. And last part of the cool down, we're gonna go ahead and spread those knees a little bit wider, bring our glutes to our heels, walk our hands out, forehead, chin, or cheek to the ground, mat, whatever you're using today. And we're just gonna let our bodies come down. We're gonna breathe into any tightness we have. Nice big deep belly breaths, long, slow exhales, tap into the parasympathetic nervous system here. We're gonna go ahead and do one more big inhale. And a nice long slow exhale. We're gonna return to our hands and knees. You can return to either seated, kneeling or standing, however you would like to finish out. But that will conclude this week's exercise with EXO. Thank you all so much for coming. Love to see you guys working hard in here. Great job on the burpees at the end. I know I hear y'all for a loop on that one. Um, but great job. Don't forget we do have one more stretch break today at 2.30. It's a great idea to attend that to kind of relax, stretch some things out after today's um, workout just now. Um, so don't forget to do that last live session of the week. And then we have one more full week until the week of rest. We have lots of classes and everything coming up our normal schedule next week. So don't miss out on any classes or stretch breaks we have next week. And I uh, hope everyone has a great day and I will see you all next time.